You're back. I am, Lewis. There's about to be some fireworks, and I don't want to miss them. What do you mean, fireworks? Mike and Samantha made peace. Then they followed it up with something even better. They're filing a wrongful termination suit against Faye. Holy sh**. That's right. They win, she's gone. Harvey, this is great. When are they going to slap her with it? My guess is they just did. Lewis, Harvey, I was sorry to hear about your mother. Please accept my... Keep your condolences, Faye. You don't give a sh** about me or my mom. So why don't you get to why you're really here? All right. Samantha is suing me for wrongful termination, and Mike Ross is defending her. Wait a second. Lewis, didn't she fire Samantha without any evidence? Oh, well, now that you mention it, that does seem to meet the criteria for wrongful termination, yeah. Yeah, sure does. Sounds like you're screwed, Faye, because you got no defense. Yes, I do, because you two are going to represent me. Well, that's not going to happen. And if you think you can order us I'm to... not ordering, I'm dealing. I don't make deals with the devil. I'm well aware how you feel about me. But if you can feel that way, defend me and win, I'll know my job here is done. Bullshit. Your back's against the wall. You promise anything to get us to agree. And whatever else you might think, you know I keep my word. This is your chance. Win, and I'll go. But let me be clear. No colluding, no telling the other side about this. And if you cheat, I'll go to the bar and tell them this firm should be dismantled permanently. No deal. Your decision. But if I go to someone else, their strategy is going to be to prove Samantha crossed a line. You handle this as long as it's on the up and up. You can use whatever strategy you want. What are we supposed to tell them? They never believe that we'd represent you. I don't care what you tell them as long as you don't tell them about this agreement. But you better think of something soon because I filed a motion to dismiss and I will have someone in chambers this afternoon. I am not representing that woman. You think I want to? They filed that suit. We're in this, and we have no other choice. I'll tell you the choice. We tell Mike and Samantha to drop this, claim victory to Faye, and send her packing. Harvey, you heard her. If we say anything, and Faye finds out, you can forget about Samantha getting her job back or getting rid of Faye, because this firm is done. All right, we don't tell them. But if you think I'm going to keep this from Donna, you're out of your mind. Keep what from me? Donna, brace yourself. We have some things to tell you, most important of which is we're representing Faye. Your Honor, if Faye Richardson can't even bother to show up to defend a motion she filed, and I move to dismiss... Faye Richardson won't be defending anything. We will. Is this some kind of joke? No, it's not, but your lawsuit is. Harvey Specter and Lewis lit for the defense, Your Honor. Your Honor, my client and I need to have a moment. No, I don't need a moment to do anything. Samantha. No, I don't know what's going on here. But if Faye thought I would fold just because she sent you two, she's got another thing coming. And what you have coming is a dismissal because our client had every right to fire you. Bullshit. She accused me of crossing a line with zero evidence. She didn't need evidence because our bylaws say the managing partner can terminate anyone for any reason without cause. You have proof of this? Right here. Then I have no choice but to dismiss the case. Except for one thing, Your Honor. The bylaw you just entered was from page 72, paragraph 3. But nine paragraphs down in a section he conveniently didn't bring, it clearly states that any managing partner not ratified by a vote is to be deemed acting and does not have certain rights, including specifically termination without cause. Is this true? Technically, yes. Well, but... then technically, I don't see any reason why this can't move forward. Your Honor, there's... Save it. You tried to put one by me. I'm moving this up in my docket to the first available slot. You're representing her? What the hell is that? Samantha, if they're defending her, then no one will suspect them of helping us. Harvey, I gotta hand it to you. Don't, because this wasn't a move. Wait a second, you're actually representing her? Bullshit. that's not what we talked about. Well, things changed when Faye said she was gonna prove Samantha fabricated that evidence, and we all know what happens after that. So, unless you wanna drop this thing. I'm not dropping anything, and I don't give a shit what Faye tries. She's not finding proof. Samantha, instead of taking that chance, maybe you should consider this. A settlement offer? Are you kidding me? We started this to get Faye out. This lets her stay and leaves me with nothing. It leaves you with $3 million. And we didn't do this for the money, so why don't you tell us what's really going on here? We already told you what's going on. And now we're telling you that if this goes to trial, we're not tanking this case. We're going to war. So take that offer and end this. I'll tell you what you can do with that offer. You can shove we'll it up. We'll think about it. How could you do that to her? Katrina, it has been a long day. Not half as long as Samantha's. 
Those things you said, Louis, it, it was cruel. I know what it was, Katrina, but it had to be done. And that's not an answer. I thought you were her friend. I am her friend. You think I didn't see that look on her face? Then why did you do it? Because sometimes doing the job means doing something we hate. And whether you believe it or not, I wanted to come out of this with a win. Then tell me what's really going on. OK, then. You OK? She called me out on today, Harvey. And she was not wrong. Lewis, it's OK. I just wish we could tell him. Me too. Miss Richardson, I'll keep this short. Do you like my client? Not particularly, no. Do you think she's a good lawyer? I think she wins cases. So you thought the firm would be better off without a good lawyer who wins cases just because you happen to hate her? I didn't say I hate her. You're putting words in my mouth. Well, then how about we use some of your own? Faye, good afternoon. Eight years ago, you fired an attorney, listed a reason in her paperwork, and then she sued you. Isn't that right? Don't look at them. Answer the question. Were you sued for wrongful termination? Yes, I was. Fantastic. Because I happen to have my termination paperwork here today. Would you mind telling the court what you listed as cause? I didn't list a reason. And I bet I know why. Because you learned you don't need a reason. But if you give one, you better damn well be able to back it up. Objection. Now who's testifying? Did you or did you not look me in the eye and say the reason you fired me was because you knew I had crossed a line? I did. But you didn't know. You had no proof. And when I pointed that out, you said you didn't care. Isn't that true? You're not giving the full context. The context is you wanted me gone because you think I'm an asshole. I never said that. No, your lawyers did. But one of those lawyers just took a road trip with my client to find her father. The other invited her to his wedding. None of this has anything to do with- My character? It sure as hell does, because I had friends at your firm, Miss Richardson. Do you? It's not my job to make friends. And is that why, two days ago, your own lawyer publicly stated that you are a bitter, vindictive woman who is hated by everyone at your firm? He did say that, didn't he? And I remind you, you're under oath. Yes, he did. Well, then who really deserves to be fired? The lawyer who wins cases and has friends, or the one who lied about why she let my client go? You know what? We wouldn't be in this boat if someone hadn't slipped them that sh So help me, if it was you. Me? You were the one who got it in the first place. No, I didn't. I got it from Donna, and she got it from Alex, and Son of a bitch, it was him. It wasn't Alex, it was me. What did you just say? Lewis said he wanted Samantha to get a win. And I thought you'd be happy, I don't give a what you thought. You don't do something like that without running it by me, unless you're a an idiot. Harvey. I'm not an idiot. I was giving you plausible deniability while helping our friends. No, you were ruining the deal we made with Faye. I didn't know, and I wouldn't have done anything if you had just kept me in the loop. Keep you in the loop? You're lucky I'm not firing you. Don't you talk to me like that. I am a senior partner, yeah, and I and I'm going against two of my closest friends. I am doing all of this while my mother just died, and I can't even talk to the one guy who could understand what the hell I'm going through. So, I don't give a if you're a senior partner or not. Hey, do you have a moment? Not really. Katrina, I'm getting ready for tomorrow. That's why I'm here. I heard you're making Harvey and Lewis prove that Samantha fabricated that evidence. And if you're here to make an appeal on their behalf... I'm here to tell you they didn't give Mike that testimony. I did. I didn't know about your deal, and I made a mistake. You mean you colluded against your own firm? I did. And before you say anything, I once gave Susan a second chance, and you disagreed, but you respected it. So you're asking me to forgive you because you forgave someone else? I'm asking you to understand that people make mistakes, and I am begging you not to make Samantha pay for mine. Please, Faye, let Harvey find another way to win without destroying her career. All right. I respect you owning up to your mistake. But sometimes owning up isn't enough, so I want you packed within the hour. What? You just said Katrina, that... I'm sorry. 
You're fired. But every one of them is giving up and giving in. To what is it now, Faye? You want me to shoot my brother? I'm calling to tell you. Katrina came to me and said that she was the one who gave them that information, not you. What did you do? It doesn't matter what I did. What matters is that I was justified in firing Samantha. You prove that tomorrow. I'll honor our original agreement, and you won't have to prove that Samantha fabricated that evidence. And if I can't? Then I'll be forced to put the only other person who knows what she did on the stand. Good. You're here. So are you, but not for long, because I did what you asked. And if you think you're going to weasel I'm out of it. I'm not weaseling out of anything. But you haven't done what I asked, at least not yet. What are you talking about? Tomorrow morning, you're taking the stand against Samantha. What did you just say? I said you're taking the stand. Bullshit Harvey. I am. No, you said we didn't have to prove she did anything. And I also said we needed to win. We did win. No, it looks like we're going to win. But this is my integrity on the line, and I'm not leaving things to chance. And if you try to walk away, I'll subpoena you, put you up as a hostile witness, and cross you myself. You know what? I am hostile. But you're every bit as vindictive as I said you are. And you pretend to be Robin Hood when you're really just a snake oil salesman. Well, I'm not buying it. So one way or another, you're taking the stand tomorrow, and you're telling the truth. What are you doing here? I'm here because it's time I told you the truth. Is this uh, something we're going to need whiskey for? Faye offered a deal. Win and she leaves. Refuse to help and she goes after Samantha's license. Then to hell with this case. I'll call Samantha. We'll drop this thing right now. That's not an option. Never was. Because if Faye suspects us of tanking it. She won't just stay here. She'll wipe us off the map. And the cherry on top, she's putting me on the stand tomorrow. What? Harvey, Samantha told you the truth. You Look, can't I've take this stand. I've been over it from every angle. We can't stop it. There's only one thing left for me to do. Wait, please tell me that you are not planning on lying. Mike, it's the only way. I say I can't remember. <sighs> Fail call me before the bar. I'll just stick to my story. And then she will convince them to take your license. And then what the hell did we do this for? You did it for me. That's the end of it. I just came here to tell you that I never stopped trusting you. No. We're not going down this way. Did you hear me? I just told you, I already looked at every possibility. And what was the first thing you taught me to do when someone puts a gun to your head? There aren't 146 ways out of this. Good, because all we need is one. And the answer to this is to take that gun back and point it at her goddamn head. And I'm telling you, Faye isn't like anyone else. We can't just blackmail her. She won't fold. Well, then we have to make her think that if she hands us in, they're going to believe us, not her. Meaning? Harvey, you and I conned the world for years. I think it's time for one last con. What's going on here? This was supposed to be between me and you. No, Faye, this is between you and the firm. And Harvey's not doing anything without all of us here to witness it. So you're going to sign that agreement, and you're going to pack your bags, and I never want to see you again. I'm not packing anything until the jury returns a verdict. So let's sign this thing and get it over with, because you have some testimony to prepare. Give it to Gretchen. OK. Everything looks in order? The hell it does. Your lawyer tampered with my goddamn witness. Bullshit. I didn't tamper with anyone. You gonna say you didn't anonymously send Katrina the criminal code for perjury to intimidate her? God damn it! did you play dirty in my name? Because if you did, You I... won't do shit, Faye. All I did was stop her from testifying like you asked. You asked him to go to my witness? Don't you dare try to twist this. We're not twisting anything. And when you call Harvey to the stand, I'll ask one question. Did you tell him to shut down Katrina Bennett or not. And then we'll ask if you convince Katrina to perjure herself. You coward. She's got you so wrapped around her face. The did you just say hey, to me? back the hell off my lawyer. I'm not backing off anything, least of all this little piece of shit. Enough! You lay another finger on anyone in my firm and you'll be up for assault charges. And if you two don't get out of here inside five seconds, I'm telling the judge you came in here to get a mistrial. You heard the woman. Get the hell out. You know what? You people make me sick, and I can't wait to put you all behind me. Well, then don't wait, Faye. Get the hell out right now. Excuse me? He said you're done here. Because that document you just put your name to, Gretchen switched it on your ass during the fight. And it's now in order for Harvey to witness tamper by any means necessary. I get it. You think you set me up? No, Faye, we did set you up. Because first, you ordered Katrina to fire Samantha, and then 
You ordered me to witness tamper. Well, I don't care what you had me sign. No one's going to believe you didn't trick me. No, well, we think they will, because Katrina came to see you last night, and there's a record of it in the lobby downstairs. And after she did, you went to see Harvey. And there's a record of that, too. And when I refused contact with Katrina, you called Gretchen into your office and had her send the criminal code to intimidate her out of testifying. <sighs> this is bullshit. It may be bullshit, but to a jury, it's going to look like a hot fudge Sunday. Face it, it's over. You think you're going to bully me into something? I don't care if it costs me everything. I will never back down. Damn it, Faye! I said never. Then you'll end up in prison. And you wouldn't have done any of this if it weren't for him, because he is a blight. He's a goddamn hero. OK, stop. Everybody, give me and Faye a minute alone. Honey, honey. It's OK, Lewis. I got it. What are you going to do now? Break my kneecaps? No, Faye. I'm going to give you the thing you wanted since the day you got here, but not the way you wanted it. What do you think is going on in there? It's hard to say. If I know Harvey, he's pulling out all the stops. That still doesn't mean he'll be able to convince her. Lewis, have a little faith. Has Harvey ever let us down before? No, not when it really mattered. And I'm not about to start now. Wait. Does that mean? The phase out, it sure as hell does. Holy sh The firm's ours again. It is, Lewis. She's packing her sh as we speak. Well, then my first order of business is bringing you back. I second that, if for no other reason than for finally giving Harvey what he's always had coming. Speaking of which, you're supposed to pull your punches. I did. I can't help it if you're as weak-jawed as Mike. Oh, you taking shots at me now? That's what Harvey would do. She's right, I would. I feel that. Harvey, I got her now. What did you do to get Faye to go? What do you mean, what did I do? I'm the best closer the city's ever seen. I closed. Seriously, Harvey, I gotta know. And I hate to tell you this, Lewis, but you never will. Harvey, come on. OK, you really want to know? I gave her boardwalk and park place. Oh, God damn it. Harvey, leave him alone. I want to say something. Faye's gone because we all risked everything for each other. It's what we've always done. And we do it for one reason. We love each other. And if that doesn't deserve drinks, I don't know what does. Amen to that. First round's on me. I owe you all at least that much. Come on, let's go. 